We want to thank you for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. Well, the claims against Fort Bend County Judge KP George are really stacking up tonight. Accused of trying to gain sympathy support from his constituents by posting negative comments about himself and other people. Devin Clark joining us now live just outside of George's office in Richmond to talk about the lengthy search warrant that led him to being taken into custody. Devin. Danny, two things that really stick out in this 25 page search warrant are what George is said to have done with one of his phones before it was seized and what investigators say he did with his former chief of staff to pull off this alleged hoax. Fort Bend County Judge KP George has been quiet for the most part since his indictment for the misdemeanor charge of misrepresenting the identity of a candidate. Do you think that your constituents should still trust you? I don't have any comment at this time. We went to his house to once again ask about the accusations. Officials believe he used a fake social media account to attack himself and others by posting racist and hateful comments in order to gain sympathy support in the 2022 election that he ultimately won. No one answered the door. Yesterday, George, who was jailed and released on a PR bond, which means he didn't have to pay any money, sent out a statement that in part reads, I fully intend to prove my innocence in court, but officials say they have evidence of his guilt. Page 16 of the search warrant mentions George's former chief of staff, Taraj Patel. Patel was arrested back in June on a felony charge of online impersonation for his role in the alleged hoax. The warrant shows what officials say are text messages between the two, where George George coached Patel to post antagonizing messages through that fake Facebook profile. And on page 17 of the warrant, officials suggest George may have tried to reset one of three phones seized because there were 15 failed password attempts and that particular phone resets itself after 20 unsuccessful attempts. Despite calls for his resignation, George has said he has no plans of stepping down, which even if he is convicted of this misdemeanor, he technically doesn't have to. Reporting live outside of KP George's office in Richmond, Devin Clark, KPRC2 News.